Whoa, are you guys... Are you, guys, shut up a minute. Shut up, I'm in, like, gear 12 at this point. <laughs> <laughs> are you driving the Batmobile, Batman? Are you driving the Batmobile over there, Batman? <laughs> it's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the brand new episode. Uh, this is a... This is a... Uh, where's the... Where's the the board, never mind. This is a review discussion of <laughs> Batman vs <laughs> Superman Dawn of Justice. And Dawn boy, of, Dawn of shitty movie. Yeah, what a movie. What, what a what a movie. Now, I um, well, let's just address uh, the hatred we'll get for having a real based, well based, critical, unbiased opinion of of a movie that I wanted to like. Uh and and how it was just kind of crap in the end. Are we going to spoil it? Fuck the fact. No, that comes later. We'll try and not spoil it. That for like, comes later. You know, Ten minutes or whatever. So yeah. Um. Basically, this and up, boys and girls of all ages. <sighs> this movie is a fucking mess. This movie is such a mess. It's like my pants when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this movie is a mess for like a bunch of reasons, like the fucking awful plot. I know. Listen. No. What, well, Alex? Batman vs Superman is the brand new movie where Batman fights Superman and then they fight a big green ogre. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, um, and Batman kills. Everyone loads of knows exactly what happens in this movie because mm -hmm. that second trailer is the whole movie. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing surprising in it and nothing makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And all the scenes like are barely linked yep. by anything logical. It's like um has no pacing. It's like the amazing bulk. No pacing. The scenes aren't linked by anything logical. Um, the, act the acting's a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> the bulk does look a little bit like the abomination, though. Mm -hmm. It's not the abomination, though, because that's something He's else. He's just doing it on purpose. <laughs> oh, right, right, that was the, what the raised eyebrows was about. Um, he does look like a big pig. A, bit, a big yeah. green pig. It looks really stupid. It's like a, it's like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle baffle toad. It's yeah. really big. And, and he screams That sounds good to me. It's Doomsday, yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome everybody to the Doomsday. So yeah, the movie. Um, so they didn't learn a thing from Man of Steel, effectively. Should we just should we just jump straight in with the no, spoilers? No, they did. Hey, I um, know oh, we can't do that yet. Right. Nah, this place hey. is abandoned. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's no this, it, because it, yeah, I mean, more, yeah, this movie is damage control. The movie. I mm -hmm. mean, I get, I kind of get with. I oh, know we can't talk about it. Just fu this should be just a spoiler video, Okay, right? fuck it, this is spoilers now, okay? <laughs> Three minutes yeah. of non-spoilers. <laughs> we can't not. <laughs> the whole movie revolves around these spoilers. So, like, the bit where... Spoilers. Where, where yeah, spoilers, okay? Superman spoilers. punches, like, dooms up into the sky. I get that, because it's Superman doing it on purpose. To clear, so so that there isn't, he isn't near any people. I mm -hmm. get that. But then everything else is just like, there's no one there, don't worry. <laughs> Yeah. We'll just there blow are three, it up. Se three separate occasions where they throw in this really eye-rolling piece of dialogue that's like, "Don't worry, there's no one on the island." Yeah. But, and then Batman goes, "Don't that's worry." That makes the most sense. Don't worry, because this part of Gotham is abandoned. I recognize that. No, Batman says that this part yeah, of Gotham's that, yeah, abandoned. Yeah, that's, that's the worst one. And there's another one as well. It's like, like there were no civilian casualties. You know, it's it's justified if you want to take a, a giant murder alien thing to a place where it might kill some people mm -hmm. if that's the only way of stopping it. Yeah. You could have just said that. Yeah. Do you, do you remember in Age of Ultron they did a similar thing where it's just like mm -hmm. 10 minutes of just like why no one's going to get hurt when, when all the shit explodes. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on. I would have preferred it if they just went mad again, honestly. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, loads of casualties. Fuck it. This is the way it is now. Do you want to know, know what I hate the most though? <clears throat> the fact that this movie like is barely a movie mm -hmm. by itself. It's a it's a trailer for another movie that they're gonna make. For another like like three really awkwardly make. halfway through the film, <clears throat> there's this f like really awful scene. That that's the worst bit yeah. of the entire movie. So fucking terrible. Wonder Woman gets an email from from Bruce, and she she opens the email and there are four symbols, and yeah. she. I mean slowly, they've already they've already teased it a little <clears throat> bit earlier on as well. She slowly click, clicks each one and watches mm -hmm. a YouTube video. About of, um, about these these four super beings that no one cares about. Yeah, the four superheroes that no one cares about. Um, yeah, that they have to quickly establish and explain because mm -hmm. they need to rush together this universe in order to compete with Marvel. Yeah, <sighs> I would have been fine with just the Flash part. Yeah, where he comes from the future. 
And he's like, it's too soon. Oh, it's too it's soon. like, hey, don't kill me. I, I thought that was a robot. I thought that was a future robot. You're an idiot, though, so... Like, I really... Yeah, I didn't even... It didn't even cross my mind that it was a Flash. I know who the Flash is, but I just thought it was a robot. How, though? Like, you watched that movie, the animated one. Yeah, I watched it as well. Where he goes back paradox. in time and stuff. It's very confusing, like, that whole scene, that whole sequence... ...with the... ...robot? I mean, the Flash. I really hate having to, like, talk about anything with you, Alex. And then... Because you just get everything wrong on purpose. And then before that, he had a dream where he's... ...in a desert... Fighting bugs. Yeah, which I guess the Flash showed him. Yeah, but it, his time. But mm. the Flash can travel through time. But can he travel into people's dreams? <laughs> yeah, he can. Just well, fucking deal with it, okay, Alex? It's a time with Inception. Yeah. Oh, that's why Nolan produced it. So really, I mean, we're not really like criticizing the <clears throat> film here. We're just kind of talking about parts. No, that's that a massive plot hole. Yeah, well, that's what we need to. Yeah, I was going to say what we need is, to circle back to the fact that what we're saying is that this is a fucking ridiculous piece of plot. It's just stupid. What is the story of this movie? Uh, Jesse Eisenberg hates God, and and, uh, and Superman is the closest thing to go that resembles God. Yeah. So he hates Superman, and he mm -hmm. wants to show that Superman he's bad? is a bad guy. You're like you can't be all powerful and all good. Yeah. And you, if you're that's, all good, then you can't motivation. be all powerful. Or whatever. But then, and meanwhile, Batman is angry at Superman because of the events of Man of Steel, which yeah. is fair enough. Yeah, his motivation. And then, sense. out of nowhere, the motivation for Superman to fight Batman is that Jesse Eisenberg steals his mama from Smallville and threatens to kill her unless Superman kills Batman. That's the contrived explanation they come up with that instead of making yeah. it, you know, make sense. <laughs> oh, God, we're going to piss some people off with this one. Yeah. Should we just I, talk about what we liked a little bit first before I liked it I liked the opening of the, the film. The was very good. Like the opening, like, what, 20, 15 minutes? Was it 15 minutes? Because yeah, there's the actual opening opening, and then there's just, like, Bruce Wayne running around a city and all that. And that's, that's all fine as well. I was good with it for a lot. Yeah. Like, I, I, yeah. I can get past the dumb shit, but there's... There's too much dumb shit. The worst shit in thing film. is the ending. That's that's kind of what pushed me over the edge. <laughs> the ending was bollocks, Dude, and I on. really, 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 really hate the resolution to the Batman Superman fight where they just kind of like yeah, stop. that's bad. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> I um, I think I I like it the <clears throat> least. Jim likes it the most. You're in in between us. Yeah, yeah. Like I really, really dislike the movie. Like I really because I can hate still it. get behind a lot of the Batman stuff in in that. It just kept reminding me of um, <clears throat> Age of Ultron and the Amazing Spider-Man too. Um, in the way that, like, do you remember how hackney and shit it was in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, where it's just like, here's all this old Scorp shit, we're gonna put that in more movies. Mm -hmm. It's the same shit as, um, mm -hmm. it's even more, like, forced in in this movie. Like, when they show Aquaman, he just stares at the screen for, like, it's really 10 weird, seconds. Yeah, like, like, all the other ones, the worst part of the all, that, all the other, like, like teasing the characters, it makes more sense. Like, we'd already seen The Flash once, and then yeah. they were, like, super obviously were like, look at him, and that's fine. I didn't mind his one, his yeah. little clip. It was okay. Um, what's the other fucking one? Cyborgs was kind of weird. And yeah. like, oh, that was a bit... Because mm -hmm. of all the, like, screams and shit. Yeah. That was just... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Aquaman's was really bad. He straight up just stares at the camera for you, just like... Yeah. <laughs> Don't you, this feel like, feels like four different it. movies in one movie. The Batman thing feels completely, totally different to mm -hmm. the Superman stuff. And then the Jesse Eisenberg stuff's really weird and goofy. Yeah. And then suddenly it's really serious. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's the Wonder Woman stuff, um, who who is like, why is she in this movie? Yeah. Um, it just annoyed me that they can't, we can't just have Batman vs. Superman. No, we've got to have Batman vs. Superman vs. Lex Luthor vs. Wonder Woman vs. So Doomsday vs. Flash yeah. vs. this vs. Like that with these guys. It's damage control catch up the movie mm -hmm. for DC. And they've shoved in all of this shit that should have been spread over five movies. So maybe the next ones will be better. Maybe they literally just told them, look, you're going to have to fucking cram all this crap in. Yeah. Can you do it? But like, Okay, well, the integrity of the movie is lost, but I'll do um, it. I think Man of Steel is a better movie. It is. Yeah, Man of Steel yeah, is I like a... So. Like, and people ragged on like that a, movie. It's a followable thing, and it's not completely it's like, fucking stupid. It's coherent. Like, everyone else. It's coherent. There isn't, like, a, a ton of, like, super contrived... There are some contrivances in there, but not like as ridiculous as as this movie, where it's just like completely jumps the gun. Mm -hmm. The editing isn't like as is like crazy. Yeah. Like the pacing isn't as pace. Whack I, yeah, I remember noticing like this is really fucked. Yeah. Are they gonna sort it out in like ten minutes, or are we just gonna have this the whole thing? I was glad. Um, I found the soundtrack a few like days before seeing the movie, mm -hmm. and I was glad that they were like reprising 
the themes and things from yeah. Man of Steel because I thought that soundtrack's really good. But they used it badly. But dude, did they fuck up the way they used it in this movie? It's like, do you remember in Man of Steel one where Man of Steel one? You know what I mean? The fucking original. You know Man of Steel. Um, What's he, that? He fl- that part where he flies into Zod. I can't remember. And he fucking just. I haven't watched out. it in like two years. Into the, into yeah, the it's probably floor. like two years since I watched it now. Yeah, well, it's been like, ages since I've I seen can't it remember. Too. It's been years. But um, I just remember a lot. That of moment stands that stands out in my head. It's like a, hooray! He's, he's punching him. Mm-hmm. And the music was like. I remember the well end and stuff. He's, like got him in the lock and he's like. Yeah. He's gradually turning. Well, do you, you remember head. in um. In, in like the whole last part of Man of Steel, um, the music's just the constant drums and the thing, and mm-hmm. they play it at the beginning of this movie, and it's really effective. Mm-hmm. And it reminds you of how good that music is for what's happening. And yeah. then, and then, and then it's just oh my god when, <sighs> when uh, there's a there's a, a moment, a very specific moment in this film where it just completely lost me, and from then I was just like, uh, um, it was when Bruce gets an email, and in the email is, there's a picture from. 1911 or some shit. Oh, and it's it's um. It's no, it's not. He doesn't get an email. It's all the data he steals from Lex <laughs> Luthor. Oh yeah. Come on, Alex. She, no, because then he and then he emails sends it to her. an email to That's Wonder so Woman. Dumb. No, but yeah, he he he, he decrypts this email. This, and there's the, the picture of Wonder Woman from 1918. Yeah. What was 1918? It's in, it's in the teens. Of yeah, the, it's 1918. Yeah. And then the music goes. Yeah, and play, and he plays, just sat plays there. Wonder Woman's theme like. New, 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 new. Yeah. It's all like drums and guitars. Yeah. The music's like so over. And he's the top, just sat like, looking at like at this picture like. Yeah, and it's the same where like Batman's just standing. It wasn't just like like a st- standard like realization of what she is of like a horn. Just, yeah. Blah, that would have mm-hmm. okay. Fine. Whatever. I'll, yeah. I'll take it. No, but no. like he's standing on this crane at one part, just doing nothing, just standing there, and the music's just like. <laughs> dun dun dun. It just keeps doing that at these this, random times. This, this epic scene. Yeah, it's, it's because the music, the movie has like no emotion to it, so mm-hmm. they're try, they're like desperately trying to there was no make you feel all. something. Yeah, like they did things that fucking Marvel like wouldn't do, probably like a little more, a little better than that. Marvel doesn't fucking Marvel doesn't have Marvel their doesn't characters even, shoot like, people in the face. Yeah, Marvel doesn't even discuss character death. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. That's it. At least this fucking movie did it, but it didn't. I didn't feel anything. I was like, okay. <laughs> Talking about Superman dying but then not dying. Yeah. He's Twice. not dead. There's no way. But even though like the first time doesn't really count. Well they make it kinda clear that he's not dead. Yeah. We gotta talk about um let's just say for first how good Ben Affleck is as Batman. Yeah, he's decent. Yeah, he's really just as I really thought. Good. He really looks the part, um the way he fights is really fucking cool. Alfred's um, good we can't Alfred's really good as well. Him, he's just barely in the movie him. though. Yeah. Well it makes me more excited for a Batman movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I focus yeah, but... on the good part of this one. <laughs> yeah, but like think about it. Can you even get a standalone Batman movie now, or is it just going to be thrown in with all this like references to shit? Because no, I think I think they might set this the Batman film well, before yeah, the events like of Wonder Batman vs Superman. It's based when that picture was taken. Because you know people were like Jim was saying, something, like he thinks he might have killed the Joker already in you know, Dark Knight. Well, we were talking about earlier. Because like, Jim said it to me yesterday though as well. Yeah, uh, he, he's. I just want a movie of this Batman doing the stuff he does near the end of this movie mm. in that scene where, where they spoiled it in the trailer. That would have been really cool to see yeah. without it being fucking spoiled in the trailer. Movie. This, yeah, this I mean, movie had like the worst well. advertising campaign, I think, ever for a superhero movie. Like the posters, fine, cool, yeah. whatever. I mean the trailers, the, trailers the way they were cut. Shit, like, yeah. oh, every single one, terrible. Spoils too much, shows too much, nothing's a surprise. Mm-hmm. It was, well, it's, it's just terrible. It was really annoying because um, when I saw the building, because he's going to where uh, Superman's mum is, yeah, and when I saw the window, you knew in the background. I was like, "Oh, that's when he's going to do it." Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought for a long time it wasn't even going to be in the <coughs> film that scene. Like they just cut it for a trailer or some no, shit. But no that, way the way he happened. fights is like really brutal and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then they even fuck up Batman for me because like, where where does he stand? I don't understand where this Batman it's like, like where did, what, like, he I kills could, people. I mean, yeah, he you murders can it if it's tons of people, but like they don't even explain it. Like let's say apparently he murders about seventeen people in the movie or something. But and he never sure, no, no one acknowledges no. it. Like all I said to Ruben earlier, all it would take is for Alfred to say something like Just everything is you've been out off the rails like since everything changed or whatever. You know, since yeah. since the event. Implying a movie where they explain it. Yeah. But instead, instead of just like it. really really crudely showing the um like the Robin suit mm-hmm. with the which leaves so much to the imagination where it's just like they can write themselves out of anything with with something that blank. Mm-hmm. So like why is he killing people like this? Because, like, to me, 
like the whole point of that man and everything I've seen him yeah. in is like for all he's meant to have like the conviction not, not including to. not including the Tim Burton Batman because in the same way that Zack Snyder doesn't seem to give a fuck about you know the way characters like originally supposed to be mm -hmm. and the point of them in the comics like Tim Burton and Zack Snyder seem to do the same thing he doesn't Zack Snyder doesn't give a fuck about Superman or Batman or what they seem to stand for like mm -hmm. he said the reason he kills in Batman vs Superman is because he kills in The Dark Knight Returns. People were trying to- He kills just, one person. I was told that in the fucking Nolan movies, Batman kills someone. What does Batman kill is in he kills Nolan? Harvey Dent. Oh yeah, but it was like... It was like the tackle thing, wasn't it? And he like- He strap kills him. Batman. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and, and he fucking- He kills Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. But it's more like they at least acknowledge it in that movie. Mm -hmm. They talk about it. Like, there's, there are themes. Mm -hmm. Characters have, like, yeah, conflict. Yeah, well, this is what we're going to get criticized. This is what the fanboys won't like. Yeah. Fuck you, by the way. Let's just get that out of the way, the fanboys. <laughs> um, if, you've even, if you've even made it this far and just started laughing a go at us trying to guess what we say about the film. This person I was having an argument with, since I assume they'll probably all throw the same thing, maybe slightly better constructed than him, was... In the comics, Batman killed people, so that makes it okay. But they yeah. didn't explain it in this film. They didn't explain it yeah, in this problem. fucking film. For the last ten years the of Batman media. The other way of justifying it was, um, oh, in the Nolan movies, he kills, like, two people. But again, that's not this film. Yeah. That's a completely different thing. Yeah. Separate. And they talk about it a lot in, the, in those movies, and those movies mm -hmm. have, like, arcs and yeah. themes and ideas and, and characters and have motivation. Yeah, it's because there's <laughs> no time in this movie for anything more. No. They couldn't have every like, scene a goes dialogue. so fast. Yeah. Like it goes from a Batman scene to a Lex Luthor scene. To suddenly you're with Wonder Woman, then you're with, you know, it's just like so fucking frenetic and mad. Yeah, it's juggling so much. Like and so, nothing gets any attention, and then there's no nothing feels like a payoff because you're just juggling too much shit. There's no, there's no like no one learns anything really. Mm -hmm. It's just like suddenly just motivations change out of nowhere. Lex Luthor in this fucking movie, um, very weird. Yeah, he feels like he's from he's in a different movie, mm -hmm. like because Batman and Superman are both so somber, and stoic, like joyless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that know? kind of annoys me. Like every hero seems to just be Batman. Yeah, like, because of the Dark Knight. Upset and to me, like moody. they're dropping the ball with Superman so hard. He's supposed to be the symbol of hope. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've I forgave it in Man of Steel because he's like the the idiot, like new. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, and I figured like. In that time, he would have learned. Mm -hmm. He would have grown. But they, he's still he's still just as whingy stuff. and whiny. No, but he doesn't like do it. He's still like sort of mopes around. Like he's just floating yeah. there, looking like like thoughtful and um like mm -hmm. brooding. You know, like it's it's like completely joyless for a superhero movie. Like at least with the Avengers, everyone's having fun. It's like dumb, goofy. Mm -hmm. So you have fun as a result. But with this, it's like who do you have to attach to? There's no like comic relief. And when when it's in there, it's like really awkward and weird. Like mm -hmm. one of the only ones I can think of is when. Batman saves Superman's mum, and then she says, oh, are you, you friends with, with my son? Of my son. It's the cape. Or whatever. Yeah, right after Batman shoots a guy with a flamethrower and burns him He to was death. about to burn her alive and kill her. Yeah, she's Who's been captured her? by terrorists. Um, and, the, and they like beat her up and shit. That's the problem, when, when, you, when you're taking things so seriously, the tone needs to be like the Dark Knight all the way through. Mm -hmm. it can't, yeah. You can't juggle this shit. This tone doesn't work for dumb, stupid shit like Wonder Woman just appearing out of nowhere. She's hundreds of years old, I guess, and mm -hmm. and she just like has a whip for some reason. Like she doesn't. Nothing, that's her thing. We've got to establish ab like that even though the whip, whip the, the whip, even though the whip is her thing, she doesn't use it once, and all of a sudden, oh, I'm using my well, whip. Wonder Woman isn't explained at all. Like if you don't know who she is, how the fuck are you supposed to like? They, they just they just kind of throw away line. Oh, we found a few people who, who have metahumans. They, they, they call them. With they, have, they had two things that to evaluate here, and that was: do we make up like a Batman movie, a Wonder Woman movie now? And then have Batman vs Superman. They can't guarantee those films will do okay. They can't guarantee Wonder Woman would do okay because yeah. fucking like don't, they don't know if anyone will care. So they do Batman vs Superman, the big fucking name. Fuck it. Yeah. We'll just explain it later. So that's to decide: do we make money or do we make a good film and not make as much money? It and seems they just so chose obvious money. to me though. They just chose to make loads of fucking money. You make Man of Steel. You make a Batman movie. You then you make Batman vs Superman, and then you do the other shit. Well, preferably and you, and another Superman movie between that. Yeah. You know, they're like that. Because, like, with Batman, Batman sells. It doesn't matter what he's doing. Superman sells as well. <coughs> yeah. Because he's Superman. Yeah. And then they could have done, they could have just not had Wonder Woman in Batman vs. Superman. No. Because it's called Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman. Not fucking Batman vs. Superman and Wonder Woman 2. No. no. Against a big 
monster. But it's not Batman vs Superman though. <clears throat> it's for like ten minutes of the movie. Mm -hmm. They actually fight, and the conflict is so bizarre. And like, what? Why are they fighting? Mm -hmm. God. And well, it... the motivation of that is. We need to talk about the fight. The fight. The motivation goes that. Okay, so Batman doesn't like Superman for reasons. We know that. The reasons are actually good because of Man of Steel, because Superman fucks shit up and he's like, why? But, the, but then we why does Batman an completely ignore the fact that he's like going around saving people and stuff? Because he says he there's even a 1% chance that he's our enemy. We have to take that as an absolute certainty. He just ignores That's Alfred, though. Like, Alfred's really reasonable. Mm -hmm. It's like, she's not our fucking enemy. It's you it's, it's just, I think it's just that whole thing of like, Batman's so angry or whatever. But so anyway. Back to this. Again, Damn easily it, written out. Like, easy, if, he was, if you just established that he was mad, then you could easily write yourself out of that. Are you listening to this guy? I'm just saying. If he was a broken Batman, like he's, you know, you he, forget he my pretty goddamn clearly point. is. No, forget my point at this rate. You fucking bitch. So, number so, two. And then, and then Superman's motivation to fight Batman, even though Batman's super pissed at him anyway, is just um, Lex Luthor saying, by the way, we've kidnapped your mother, and the only way to get her back is if you kill Batman. Yeah. So can you do that? And th th that's the thing it. is, it doesn't really make sense. Really? That, None of this fucking like, movie. Because like, he wants him to kill Batman to show that he's not a good guy. Yeah. But nobody likes Batman in this universe. Yeah. Like, Batman's a fucking asshole. Yeah. He like, just he's, kills he's, he's out of control. He murders people, he brands mm -hmm. people, and then the brand, when you see it in jail, means, like, you're fucked. You're, you're fucked. Gonna die. And you're just gonna get killed. Yeah. And they show that. Um, like, he's terrible. He's a terrible person. I mean, he's the punisher. And then, and, then, and then the fight goes on. They fight. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And then the end of the fight is the bit that really was just like, I just wanted to do that. I just wanted to do that to the film. I did do that at the screen when it was mm. the credits. <laughs> yeah. So, he just says like, so Superman's all beat up, lying in a pile of rubble because Batman's used kryptonite gadgets and shit because he just gets hold of it. Whatever, that doesn't matter. That's a thing that I don't care about. That doesn't bother me in a film. No. You just got hold of it, okay? Fair enough. I don't want to see him. You fucking can't do have it. them fight without kryptonite. Well, yeah. they show they show that you did. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, you don't need to talk about. It. We don't need to talk yeah. about that. He gets it. And whatever, that's it. So, he's just like, Superman just says to Batman, they've got Martha. Now, Martha happens to be the name of Batman's mother. And so he's all like, how do you know that name? I'm, that even yeah, that even though he's says practically it. I, a I just, celebrity. Yeah, I, I mean, I just like doing that Batman voice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And, and it's, it's all ridiculous because their, their mums, or Batman's mum and Superman's like adopted mum or whatever, just happen to both be called Martha. So... But why would Superman say they've got Martha as opposed to saying they have my mother or or they have just the coincidence there? It's just ah, it's just a movie man. thing. Yeah. yeah, it's just like. But it was really, really not. And then the fight just sense. stops. So the fight just stops, and the yeah. way they have to try and make it look like Batman's all like conflicted. I was just like, this isn't well done. This is not well done. Nothing's like effective. And what about that weird scene where like Lois like has to be in there? Yeah, and amazing. then she just shows up. She yeah. just shows up. Like, she's, no, she's don't carrying, do it. This she's, is carrying the, she's carrying the kryptonite staff, and she goes and drops it in water to get rid of it. To get rid of it. But then they turns out. Then so it turns out they, they need, need it. it but and, she somehow and, finds and that. And they out. just set up the fact that he goes. She gets tries to get it, and then gets trapped, and then she, they just set up Superman going back to quickly rescue her, and then being all like, ah, because he picks up the. Yeah. Well, the it's whole, just trying to show the relationship between Superman. The only point of that is is so. There can be a sad moment. You know, what I thought I itself. thought Aquaman was just gonna appear, and pass yeah. it to them. Yeah. I actually thought I think it's gonna fuck it. Yeah, uh, but then they didn't. You know what? If you're gonna do it, just fucking do it. Yeah, I would have. I would have rather that. Because yeah. like the fight with um, what's he called, Madman? What? Well, Big Do Green Doomsday. thing. Doomsday. Oh. Doomsday. <laughs> um, <laughs> when Mad they Man. fight him, like, it's not even like nothing cool happens in that fight. Really, they punch him into space, and he's just like. He's not, he's not interesting. He's just this big green ball of, of, of muscle. Mm -hmm. Like, who is he? He's just Zod again. Yeah. But like, Zod actually like like, was angry in the first one. Mm -hmm. And he was like, look, we don't have a planet anymore. Sorry. But this guy, <laughs> it's, he can't even talk. He just screams. And then they, and then they kill it. And then the movie ends. Mm -hmm. But the, the, not before Superman gets killed. That's the worst part. Yeah. I'm uh, fine with Doomsday, but well, Doomsday should okay, be okay. because then, he's supposed to kill this Superman. One of my favourite bits. You he said shouldn't. about this at the end. I can't forget. I'm just saying it now, so one of you might remind me if I forget. Carry on. Not Superman. You were saying something, Jim. Yeah, there's a bit at the end I need to not forget to mention. So Superman sacrifices oh, himself. I, still, I thought Jim had a point, so I was just... No, he was saying about how Superman dying is like the worst thing. Yeah. yeah. Because now, now there's... Zero it doesn't matter anything when he does in die. any of the future movies, because he's going to be in more movies, obviously. Duh. You can't have the Justice League that, it wouldn't yeah. make any sense. And 
Now if he dies, it, do it doesn't even matter. Well, he won't die now. Yeah. It's so yeah but it even if he does, so even if there's a chance he's going to die, it doesn't matter. They have this uh, funeral thing. For, for they have Super two funeral there's things. Funeral. There's a funeral, for, like a state funeral for Superman. And then there's a, like the funeral for Clark Kent back home where he's from. Um, all that. And they actually have his body for that bit. They yeah. actually have his body, whereas the other one just is an empty casket. Mm -hmm. Um and so, and then, so they do the funeral or whatever. This, Lois is stood there looking into the, the, the grave. It's full, but like not been filled in yet. But the, the, the thing is in there. Um, and she stood there. Batman is like a little bit away. Bruce Wayne, mm -hmm. this, you know, and, and one woman, whatever her name is, I can't remember, shows up. Yeah. Um, and they're stood there. They talk for a second. Like, we've got to find the other meta humans. Mm -hmm. The other ones, other ones like us. That's what they say. Or yeah. like you two, whatever. Um, and then it just cuts to Batman then, like, interrogate, not interrogate, shows up at the prison cell of Lex Luthor, who's been arrested. What was that arrested. all about, though? Like, there were two guards and they just vanished. Uh, it's just meant to be a crazy, cool Batman doing his thing. I guess. Thing. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, they, they talk, whatever, Batman doesn't brand him, but threatens to. Uh, uh, he spouts some shit that references Darkseid, pretty much, I think. Yeah, Lex Luthor's, Luthor's just kind of been used as a pawn, I guess. Yeah. And then... He's his son. Mostly. And all of a sudden, we cut back. Batman's not there anymore at, at the site of the grave. Lois is still stood in the same place. That That's yeah. really badly mm -hmm. like done. Like, okay, so... Yeah, you don't know when, when has this happened? happened. When did yeah. this happen? Relative to each other. Yeah. It's weird. But again, this is all the kind of shit that fanboy type people would just say, no, oh, you could just go ignore it, whatever. No, yeah. that's, not how, that's not how criticizing a film works. You did, fucking did you dummy. Know, there are way too many like dream sequences mm -hmm. and like shit like that. Remember that weird scene where Superman's like on a mountain with his dad? Mm hmm Like what was that all about? What the fuck was that? It's so he could say at the end that Lois Lane is his world or whatever. Mm -hmm. Was that a, was but was was he imagining that? Or was that a flashback and, and then he he was like What no, was that? Why was why was he turning it was like a dream thing, Why was he picking up rocks? Like what the fuck was any of that? Like I really don't have any clue. Like, it was a really obvious point. It was just, like, an excuse for him to say something really specific mm -hmm. to set up something later. So you're supposed to feel sad when he dies. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. This fucking movie. It's, like, it's weird because all the actors are good, all the acting is good, all the scenes are shot well. Like, everything is, like, fine by itself. Mm -hmm. But then when you put it all together, it's this yeah, unbelievable yeah. mess. Yeah, like, but I don't... I. <laughs> I, I guess I, I can at least feel as if maybe they'll get it right eventually. Because they'll have less to just... I'm done with this shit. I just... I mean, we have to watch it regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I'm done having any investment in it. Yeah. I, like, I was done a long time ago with the superhero stuff. Well, even with... You like DC, though. Yeah, I do, but... See, I don't know. My, my expectations were low for this movie. Like, I think my, what, my what interest got. level just stays the same always. Just, like, okay, whatever. Yeah. For everything. Just have, that's it. No, after I really wanted to be on the defense force for this movie because I was on the defense force for Man of Steel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, after this movie told just me had shit, and I still watched it. I was like, oh, I thought it was all right. So they crammed too much stuff in. Mm -hmm. I, I had another bit I wanted to fucking talk about as well, but I can't oh think what God, it was it's... now. There's another dumb bit. There's loads of dumb bits. There's loads of like, dumb bits. but the worst part is there's like no the the beginning of the movie is cool. Like the first 10, 15 I, minutes. I like, need to go though eventually. Yeah. When they in in the real world, the yeah, the first ten minutes, fifteen minutes, cool. Then there's this whole chunk that's just like loads of setup, loads of exposition. My, my, really, my word, really I used to describe this film is lots of it is inessential, completely inessential. Like yeah. what the fuck is why why is that there? Just get rid of it. Don't bother. Just do something else. Like I normally in a film, I don't find myself being like this. But when I'm so bored by the not action, that I'm like, can we just get to another action sequence, mm -hmm. please, please? Yeah. I was kind of. As part of that was sort of the excitement of seeing Batman and Superman fucking go at it, fight the shit out of each other, but... I was so relieved when there was, like, yeah. an action scene. Yeah, because I was like, oh, thank God, Because no. all the parts, well, like, there's no the, boring the thing. shit. Like, I mean, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that, well, Mad they, Max they put Batman. that in in a point where, like, nothing had happened for ages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To purposefully mm. just, like, wake you up and be, yeah. wake you up and be but like, it was like what's happening? But the problem with that was still that it's like, yeah, well, this bears nothing on the film that I am watching right now, because this is a dream sequence. That's setting up another film. Yeah, and I was this like, okay, great, the Amazing Spider -Man but I want to see something happen in this fucking movie, please. Yeah. Something about this storyline. Yeah. It's just playing catch-up. It doesn't work. Like, it's just like, I... <laughs> apparently there's an R-rated cut of this movie. Mm-hmm. That is going to come out on the DVD. I'll watch that, but then I can't be, ever see me yeah. watching this for enjoyment, like ever, ever again. 
No. Yeah. Like, I've seen The Avengers a bunch of times. I mean, it's the, fun. yeah. I mean, the problem, I think the thing with this film, I enjoyed it a lot more because it was like the cinema and it was IMAX. I'd never watched film in IMAX before. We never had. Oh, yeah. It was neat yeah. because of that. It made the experience feel a little better. So I feel less sour about it because at least it looked good and, and yeah. the 3D shit was pretty, like, cool. Yeah. I, I quite it. like the way the movie looks. Yeah. Like, it, it doesn't try to look real. No. no. Like, like, it looks like a cartoon comic yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's more visually interesting than, like, a Marvel movie. Fucking... Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, the the Lois Lane wants to give that evidence to that, like, senator type Yeah, who's dude. in the first movie, yeah. yeah. He's in The Matrix. And Lawrence Fishburne's in The Matrix. They're both in The Matrix, and they oh. don't get along in The Matrix, those two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just... I noticed <laughs> that those two were in the film together. I was like... Uh, it's just like it's just too it's too complex mm -hmm. like it's needlessly complex like all these sh all this shit it's, it just seems so simple to me how, how you would what this movie needed to achieve set up Batman is mm -hmm. the main being the number one thing and then the end goal being they need to be on the same team mm -hmm. that should be the focus not doing that as well as setting up two new characters one of them being a villain which you have to explain which, speaking of, his shit was very weird and, like, unexplained. Like, he just goes into this alien ship which just exists and there's a robot in it. Yeah. And well, it, it was and a crashed alien ship. It was like, you're meant, meant to think it's from Man of Steel. It was just idea. this big excuse for and them. they were doing research. It was just a big, yeah. big excuse for them to be able to set up Darkseid. Mm -hmm. Because, like, alien connections. Yeah. Shit. He asks the computer to tell and him And then, everything. for no reason at all, he the ship is able to put the dead body of Zod into a husk. But he combines it with his blood yes. from his hand, which turns yeah, it into why, an abomination. Why would they have like, on, what? on the ship the ability to do that? Why? But if, why if, does it, it, if it was a Nothing thing explained. that was completely fucking outlawed by the Council of Krypton or whatever, yeah. why would they like even have the, the means yeah. to do it still? They just well, like saying and just saying, oh, it's just a comic book movie. No, no, it's insulting to me when you do like you need set up explanation and then payoff. There's none of that. It just goes straight to just shit. It's like you can't tell what's going on. It's just like, no, just forget about it. It's cool. It's just happening. Yeah, but like, I need, I need something to latch onto here. There's no characters to latch on onto, apart from Batman, who's like really wishy-washy. Like mm -hmm. he's just fucking murdering people. Like why, why should I support this guy when he's going around fucking murdering people? He's supposed to be a superhero. Like it's so drab and joyless. I don't know who to support. The end. A lot of the time with with films. Recent, I haven't really been able to give them like numbers, number scores. I've been sort of like, I just give it like a good or a don't watch it. I actually can give this one a number score, like, yeah, because it was just like, okay, I refuse this, to this, give them number scores. Like, this is where I'm, this is where I'm ending it because I'd need to like go mm -hmm. in the real world and just give it a six. Like, if 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 you want to go watch it with your buds, if they're talking about it, don't not just fucking do it, whatever. I, think I mean, they already have. D don't rag on this movie without seeing it, like, yeah. Just because it's getting, like, bad reviews doesn't mean that you... Like, this is just me, what I'm saying. I don't like the movie. You, I mean, you I might mean, love it, though. Yeah, I mean, I still had a, had a, had a fine old time just sort of I think audiences that, probably so will was... love this. You know, it's just whatever. Fucking Superman dies, Batman punches Superman in one part. Like, whatever. But for me, what Critical I want from the movie, I like stories, yeah. I like characters. It doesn't offer You can have fun. action. I, li I like action and stuff, but they didn't do it right. They got the balance. The balance is fucked. Yeah. As and in. the fucking music as well. That really bugged me. Jim. I enjoyed it more than Ant-Man. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, but like... The Marvel movies are like a different vein. They're like just fucking forgettable, a lot of them. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. sit down and watch Thor 2 with me? I haven't even seen Thor 2. You don't need to. He fights an elf. To. He fights a space elf. The end. With portals. So yeah, anyway. So, yeah. I'm done. So. Film's inessential. Yeah, you'll, you'll probably see it or not, whatever. Um, leave an angry comment. I like the rain at the beginning. Yeah. In 3D. I like when he gets picked up by bats. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Care, okay, everybody. Subscribe to, uh... In a minute. If to my you're dick. Not careful. Subscribe to... To Los to, Poyos. To this thing. Subscribe to the man Fuck. What is that? It's a stomach... Stom stomach ache. Bug. It's a stomach ache. Yeah. Pal my pussy. Good night, Alex. Good night, Jim. Good night, Ruben. Does it work? Are we gonna get like posters for this as well? Like epic, epic posters. We could make that one, that one where Batman's got his back. <laughs>